What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you another edition of Film Session with the Czar, where today we're going to break down a game of Tevin McDonald, free safety out of Eastern Washington. First, let's get familiar with Tevin McDonald out of Eastern Washington and our player profile. He was well coached out there in Cheney, and at 5'11", 195, I would compare his game and style to Nate Allen of the Oakland Raiders, and he graded out as a second round prospect. I love the fact that he can play anywhere in the secondary. Now he has eight career interceptions, four while at UCLA where he started his career and 180 solo stops for his career, four forced fumbles and seven pass breakups this season. Awareness is a critical trait to have for a safety. You're the last line of defense and Tevin McDonald has elite level awareness, which allows him to stay true to his job deeper than the deepest when Eastern Washington puts him in the middle of the field. Here on the first play of the game versus the Washington Huskies was a great example of this. Washington wants the home run ball on the flea flicker, but McDonald doesn't take the bait and eliminates the home run ball. Granted, it's not a wild play, but it's a play that you notice because of what the outcome could have been had he flew up and tried to help out versus the run. This is what you want to see as a coach. Here versus Montana, McDonald has no receiving threat to his side. The backer has tight end responsibility if he goes out in the route, and that allows McDonald to rotate over, essentially banjo covering the wide receiver, which is playing him inside out. The free safety takes a hard position to the outside, and McDonald chases to squeeze, gets great inside position, and ends up making the interception. That's a hell of a job right there by McDonald, understanding route concepts, being aware of leverage and what he has to take away and beats the wide receiver to the spot and gets the turnover. And you'll see a great illustration of this from the end zone cam as McDonald recognizes the route, gets on his horse, beats the receiver to the spot, goes up at his highest point and makes the play. As I mentioned before, Eastern Washington moves Tevin McDonald all over the football field and utilizes his skills in a variety of ways. As a blitzer coming off the slot, McDonald excels with quickness, timing, and with the ability to finish. There's two types of blitzers you see out there coming from the secondary, those that want to scare you and those that blitz with a purpose to put you on the ground. And McDonald is definitely not the former. He gets the job done in this capacity. Ball skills, in my opinion, is everything for a defensive back. Can you not only find the football, but also make a play on it? And here versus Portland State, McDonald is able to sit in the zone, breaks on the football, and catches it away from his body, taking it to the house in the process. Here versus Northern Colorado, you'll see a nice route combination by the Bears, trying to get McDonald caught in the trash. He stays over top, plays it perfectly, and finds himself in great position to make a play. McDonald is able to face up, attack the ball at his highest point for the pass breakup. You can tell he was well coached at Eastern Washington because that's textbook how he played it. And finally, McDonald from the slot plays the wheel route perfectly, avoids the natural rub route by the outside receiver, and is able to turn, find the football, and knock it away. McDonald's eyes and hands are in unison, and I'd say he has above average ball skills. Your ability to make plays in space defines you as a safety. Many times you'll be put in situations where if you don't make the play, it could be a touchdown. And whether it's flying up in the alley to make a play versus the run, causing a fumble, beating the receiver to the spot to separate him from the football, or beating the block of a wide receiver to make a play for a loss, McDonald consistently is able to get it done, which is why you saw him align in a variety of places in that Eagles defense. I'm a big fan of McDonald's toughness versus the run in here versus Montana State. McDonald gets in the mix like a linebacker and makes the tackle. That says a lot about a defensive back with that type of mentality. Now here versus Washington with the pulling guard coming downhill, McDonald doesn't expand the lane. He stops it by taking the guard down in addition to the tailback. And finally, same game, coming off the edge, he evades the block to pop the running back and holds him for a minimal gain. McDonald has shown throughout this video that he's a complete football player. 
So as we've seen throughout the course of this film session, Tevin McDonald can excel versus the run. He also can excel one-on-one -on -one versus wide receivers playing the football and also in the alley. So I think this is a complete football player, very underrated in his draft class, and is definitely worthy of a second round grade. Well coached out there in Eastern Washington once again. They've done a great job with not only that program, but with guys like McDonald putting him in position to be successful.